In this video, we're going to have a look at one of Microsoft's new Excel certifications. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. So currently, there are two sets of certifications for Microsoft Excel. The specialist one and the expert version. In quarter four of 2025, Microsoft is due to launch two new Excel certifications, and this is one of them, the MO220 Excel for Accounting Associate. So this validates the ability for you to use Microsoft Excel to manage financial data, perform calculations, and generate reports. So it's ideal for individuals pursuing roles in bookkeeping, auditing, and entry-level accounting. So imagine that you wanted a new role and you wanted to prove that you had the Excel requirements, the skills to be able to do the job. Well, you've got two choices. Either say that you can or let somebody else say that you can. So when I was applying for jobs in 2015, I had on my CV or resume a list of all of the Microsoft certifications that I had, and this allowed me to get an interview. So it wasn't just my CV saying, I've done this, I've done that. It's also Microsoft says, I can do this. This is why I got the interview. And because of the interview, I then was able to show my skills during this process, and then I got the job. So let's have a look at more information about the MO220 exam. If you go into the CertiPort website, CertiPort are the people who are going to administer this exam, and scroll down, you can see that it is based on Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, or GAP. This is the primary accounting standard used in the United States. And if I click on Exam Languages, we'll see that it will be available in quarter four of 2025. But what do you actually need to do to get this certification? Well, let's click on Exam Objectives. And you will get a list of all of the various exam topics. And you can download it or view it on the screen. So you can see that this certificate demonstrates competency in the fundamentals of preparing accounting data for analysis, preparing a trial balance, preparing and analysing financial statements, and performing routine accounting activities such as payroll data, bank reconciliations, and amortization schedules. We can also see this on the Microsoft web page as well. If I scroll down, you'll see that the principal topics are prepare accounting data for analysis, prepare a trial balance, prepare and analyze financial statements, and perform routine accounting activities. And if you scroll down, you can see that there is a skills outline that you can click on to see the information which is also available from CertiPort. So let's see what in particular you would need to do. So if I zoom in. First of all, you will need the oddly titled Perform Accounting Data for Analysis. I'm assuming that's meant to be Prepare. So you'll be importing and exporting accounting data in various file formats, cleaning the data, removing duplicate data, hiding or deleting rows, columns and cells, and formatting cells for consistency. You will be verifying the integrity using data validation rules. So at the moment, in an Excel spreadsheet, you can put any information in any cell. However, what if you only wanted to be able to say, I want dates within a certain range to be put in these cells? You should also be able to identify data which are outside certain standards. And then transform accounting data. You'd be splitting data into multiple columns and using text and date functions and fill features. The next section is preparing a trial balance. You'll be organizing accounting transactions in Excel by sorting and filtering, and also using math, logical, and lookup functions. You'll be preparing and analysing financial statements, and there's a little star or asterisk after that, and there is a footnote saying financial statements include only income statements and balance sheets. 
Income statements are also referred to as profit and loss statement or the statement of earnings. Well, that's not technically true because you will also be preparing trial balances as well. However, so you'll be preparing financial statements using formulas to aggregate data and formatting the data for presentation. You'll be analysing the financial statements, so calculating profitability, liquidity and solvency ratios. You'll be identifying and correcting errors using conditional formatting and formula auditing, so that you'll be able to work out what a formula does with the aid of this. And you'll be presenting financial information visually using pivot tables, dashboards and charts and improving accessibility and usability. The final section is about performing routine accounting activities. So you'll be preparing amortisation schedules. So this is the sort of schedule that you could create if you're getting a loan. Preparing bank reconciliations. So this identifies outstanding checks and deposits that aren't in your bank statement. You will also be using conditional formatting to identify that information and calculating a cash balance once all of the outstanding checks and deposits have been banked. You will be managing accounts receivable and accounts payable using functions and creating an ageing report and calculating bad debt expense. You will be performing payroll activities, so calculating gross and net pay calculating employer payroll tax liabilities and using functions to assess irregularities. And then finally, you'll be creating a depreciation schedule. So you have a tangible asset like a vehicle, which costs one thing, but in a few years will have a different value. The depreciation schedule takes you from one time to the other to calculate the value at each point. So, are you interested in the Microsoft MO220 exam, Microsoft Excel for accounting? Please let me know in the comments to this video. And if you want to know how to learn all of the requirements for this exam, then please watch this space. There may be a video on the end screen with more details. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. The next video on this channel will be all about the other new Microsoft Excel Specialist certification. Let me know what you think about this certification in the comments. I really look forward to hearing from you. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.